Hello, Jonathan Landeros with Kativ Technologies, and in this week's video, I'm going to talk about how to create breakout views in Autodesk Inventor drawings, including a couple of ways to avoid some pitfalls. So let's get started. So when trying to create a breakout view, how many of us have seen this happen? You create the sketch, draw your closed figure just like the directions show you, finish the sketch, but then when you create the breakout view, it gives you the error that the view does not contain a sketch with a closed profile. It seems to, but it doesn't. There's actually one very easy step to make sure that this doesn't happen. You just need to know what it is. So let's go ahead and see what it is. So, starting over, I select my view first, and then I choose the Create Sketch icon. That's the critical step that associates the sketch to the view. You'll notice the axes are centered on the view, which tells me that associativity has been created. You can also tell because the project geometry icon will light up. It wasn't before. This will also tell me that I've got that association. So now I can draw my closed profile. In this case, I'm just using a circle. Finish the sketch and begin the breakout view. When I select the view, everything works just fine. And that's because of that association. Now I'll go ahead and select my depth, which I'm going to use from point, and I'm going to choose one of the projected views. This works just fine. And now I can go ahead and hit OK, and I can generate my breakout view. So that's all there is to creating a breakout view. But let's throw in a couple of other tips. If we look at the breakout, we can see that all the cylinders have been sectioned, and maybe we don't want that. We only want the yellow cylinder sectioned, and the others to be complete unsectioned items. So there's two ways this can be accomplished. One is to locate the component in question, right click on it, choose section participation, and change it to none. Another way to get it is to hold down the shift key, right click, and change your filter to part priority. Then choose the component, right click on it, change its section participation to none there, and you could select it on screen without having to go and locate it in the browser. Just a couple of different ways you can approach that. But there you are, a breakout view, controlling the sectioning, and how to avoid a pitfall or two. That's it for this video, and thank you for watching, everybody.